The Nadi Yari is a silicone menstrual cup. It is bell-shaped with a flared rim. It's only available in one size, but it has three different firmnesses. The three colors of the Nadi Yari are specific to which firmness they are. The softest version is a pink, the middle or regular firmness is a blue, and the firmest cup, or the hard, is a purple. The Nadi Yari menstrual cup originates in India, and you can find it on the Nadi Yari website, as well as on hygieneandju.in. I'm not sure if either of these websites ship worldwide, so you will have to contact them for yourself to find out. Today I'm going to do an unboxing, show you what you get, and then take you down to the table to take a look at the cup itself. If you're interested in hearing more about the Naughty Yachty Menstrual Cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's check out the packaging and see what you receive. Now let's go down to the table and take a look at this cup. The Naughty Yachty measures 56 millimeters in total length. 50 millimeters without the nub at the base of the cup. It has a diameter of 45 millimeters and it holds approximately 25 milliliters to the top of the rim. Starting with the stem or where the stem would normally be, there is a solid piece of silicone in the shape of a heart. This little nub measures about five millimeters in length. I can't really get a good grip on it. If you're trying to use it for a stem, I don't really think that you're gonna be able to. You might be able to cut it down or use a file to shave it down if you rather have a flatter surface or to round off some of the edges if you need to. If you do decide to shave or cut this heart-shaped nub down, I would leave a little bit of it intact as there is no seal between it and the base of the cup. Instead of regular grip rings that go around the base of the cup, they went for this starburst pattern. Uh, there are six lines and they go partially up, about a quarter way up the cup body. And if you focus right here and I turn the cup, you won't really see a change. They did add some frosting about halfway up the body of the cup and frosting uh, as in the texture or the finish of it. You can see here that this area is more matte and this area is nice and shiny. And that's supposed to help you get a better grip on the base of the cup when you're going to remove it. There isn't a secondary rim, but the flared upper rim does have some thickening of the silicone. There's one seam to mention, and it is on the outside of the rim, and uh, it looks like they cleaned it up some. There are more like pitting areas rather than extra pieces of silicone sticking out, kind of like if you scratched your skin and there was a little indention. So these will not be hard to clean. Um, I don't think you have to take any special care to clean them, there are four teeny tiny air holes, not quite all the way up to the top of that rim, and they are equal distant from each other. I'm gonna go ahead and use a thumbtack so that you can see how small those are. There are no other markings on the outside of this cup, but they did brand it on the inside with their name, Naughty Yachty, and you can read it from the outside, as well as the measuring lines and numbers in 10 milliliters and 20 milliliter marks. I normally suggest bell-shaped cups, especially if they have a flared rim, to those with a medium to low to a very low cervix, depending on their length. As the Naughty Yachty menstrual cup is 
um, a little longer than some of the other cups on the market that are shaped the same with that flared rim. I feel like this cup can also work well for someone with a medium to high cervix. If you have a very high cervix, it may ride up and sit higher for you. And since it doesn't actually have a stem, you might find some trouble retrieving it. If you're comfortable with squatting and bearing down with your muscles to reach the cup without the stem, then I think that you'll be just fine using this cup. I did get to use this cup during my period. Actually, I'm using one of them right now. I can tell you now that uh, my cervix has been on the higher side and I didn't have any problems reaching my cup. Um, I did have to bear down just a little bit more, but the, otherwise the cup was comfortable and easy to use. I'm going to leave the rest of my review for an actual review video, um, but if you need information now uh, because the, this cup is on your radar, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll try to answer you as quickly as I can. Well, that's all I have about the Naughty Yachty Menstrual Cup for now. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also in the comments below, let me know which firmness version you think would be more comfortable for you. Until I see you next time, take care.